wilt thou be made whole? Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step is down before me. Rise. Take up thy bed and walk. It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. What man is that which saith unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? Rabbi, I beseech thee. My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her. She may be healed. She shall live. Take me to your home. I make you this ado and weep. She is not dead, but sleepeth. Leave this house. house this day. Let her be given something to eat. of Nazareth, thou come, come to destroy, destroy us? us? I know thee who thou art, 
Holy one of God. Hold thy peace and come out of him. <laughs> Who touched my clothes? Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou who touched me? Master, I have suffered an issue of blood. years and I knew if I could just touch my clothes that I would be whole daughter thy faith hath made thee whole go in peace and be whole of thy plague Master, who did sin? This man or his parents said he was born blind. Neither hath this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent to me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world.
Is this not he that sat and begged? This is he. No, he is like him. I am he. How were thine eyes opened? A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed mine eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And I went and washed, and I received sight. Where is he? I know not. How did you receive your sight? He put clay upon mine eyes, and I washed, and do see. This man is not of God, because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. How can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? What sayest thou of him? That he hath opened thine eyes. He is a prophet. Go bring his parents. Is this your son, who thou sayest was born blind? How then doth he now see? We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. But by what means he now seeth, we know not. Or who hath opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age, ask him. He shall speak for himself. Give God the praise. We know that this man, Jesus, is a sinner. Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. What did he to thee? How opened he thine eyes? I have told you already, and you did not hear. Wherefore would you hear it again? Will you also be his disciples? Thou art his disciple. We are Moses' disciples. We know that God spake unto Moses. As for this fellow, we know not from whence he is. Why herein is a marvelous thing that you know not from whence he is. And yet he hath opened mine eyes. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. Since the world began, was it not heard that any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind? If this man were not of God, he could do nothing. Thou wast altogether born in sin, and dost thou teach us? <laughs> dost thou believe on the Son of God? Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with me. Oh. Lord, I believe. <laughs> A judgment I am come into this world that they which see not might see. And that they which see might be made blind are we blind also if ye were blind ye should have no sin but now ye say we see therefore your sin remaineth They have no more wine. What wilt thou have me to do for thee, that will I do? For mine hour is not yet come.
Whatsoever he saith unto you, see that ye do it. Gather the water vessels and fill them. Fill them. With water. This is the first wedding feast I have ever attended, where the best of the wine has been saved for last. Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Come. little faith. Wherefore didst thou doubt? Of the truth, thou art the Son of God. Heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you that ye resist not evil. Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Why does this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? Why reason ye these things in your hearts? Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, arise, and take up thy bed and walk, that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house.
grave that has been here, my brother had no time. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou will ask of God, God will give it thee. My brother shall rise again. I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection of the last day. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Yeah, no. I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which you come into the world. Go and bring thy sister. of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? Take you away the stone. Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he hath been dead four days. Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldst believe, I should see the glory of God. Thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that Thou hast sent me. Lazarus! Come forth.
This is a desert place, and now the time is far past. Send them away that they may go into the villages and buy themselves bread. They have nothing to eat. Give ye them to eat. Shall we go and buy 200 penny worth of bread and give them to eat? How many loaves have ye? Five and two fishes. Bring them to me. Divide the people into companies of 50 that they might be fed. Father, Lord of heaven and earth, I thank thee for thy bounties. Amen. Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith?
Bild gemacht. Young man, I say unto thee, arise. visited his people. 